All right, hello everyone. Um, today I'm on my way to Hirakata. Hirakata is actually a um, little town. It's about 40 minutes away from here, but um, they also have like a mall there. And um, I wanted to just check it out. They also have like a small amusement park, which I kind of wanted to go, but right now I'm not gonna go because um, I think it'd be weird just spit on myself. I think it would be weird if I uh, went to the amusement park just by myself on a camera and uh, rode on all the roller coasters, but maybe I will do that. But um, they also have a bunch of um, secondhand stores over there, and I think some people are interested in these secondhand stores, and I am too. I wanted to see what they have there, and um, yeah, we're on our way. So I'm gonna try to get there as fast as possible because um, I kind of took my time today. I was supposed to leave at 2 o'clock but uh, I got a little busy and now it's at four o'clock. It's four o'clock now, so I'm gonna go now and it takes about 40 minutes. So hopefully I can get back before um, the sun goes down. So we're on the way. All right, look at this hotel here. I think it's like a love hotel, but it just looks so old. And um, it looks like a Don Quixote in uh, round one over there, but um, this is the problem with riding the bike because I just wanna stop everywhere and want to show you guys everything but um i gotta keep going all right guys check this out i'm at uh this huge bridge so nice it looks crazy over here this is a yodo yodo river it's yodogawa gawa means river but i wonder if it's yodogawa gawa because yodogawa river i don't know but you could see i don't know if you could see but from far away you can see hirakata park I actually used to go there when I was a um, kindergarten teacher and we would always go there for field trips or excursions but um, yeah we're almost there I was just thinking to myself how nice it is is, is to like ride my bike around like this um, I don't think I'm gonna ha oh I don't think I'm gonna have a chance when um, I start working again so I kind of I'm kind of just grateful that I get to just ride my bike around like this um, yeah, I just feel like I'm in like middle school or like in elementary school again, you know when you ride your bike because um, you have to and you don't have a car but it's kind of nice because with the car you have to park everywhere you can't stop everywhere you go and it's kind of nice to just uh, take in all the uh, views Look at this view it's just so nice, nice and peaceful besides this loud street over here. All right, I got to this mall, but I don't think this is the right one. I've never been here before, but it's all really interesting. All right, so this area is Hirakata, and this is the, I don't know if you can see that, it's the uh, Keihan Railway Hirakata Station. But um, there's a cool looking mall, and I believe the other mall is that way. So I'm gonna go upstairs and check it out. I like this area, it really reminds me of Kobe. But it's a really interesting area, it's really far from anything actually. They got a gym here. I'm gonna go up there. Alright, I might get some water because I'm thirsty as hell. Alright, get some water. Nothing too crazy. Alright, so here's an overview. There's a station, we're not gonna go in there because I don't feel like going in there. Um, here are some taxis, and then I believe this is the mall, Hirakata Tea Site, and that's Sun Plaza. So we're just gonna go through there and maybe go across and just check out what's inside. I don't think there's too much, too many things inside. You know, it's a really, really modern-looking building, but I feel like it's been here for a while. Like it was built in maybe 2000 or something. Got some food here. The sign looks pretty old. Alright, getting in here. I think this, this sun plaza just filled with um, food. But man, this place looks so old. They got, they, got, they got fried rice and spaghetti. I mean, it all looks pretty good anyways, and sandwiches. But this place looks so old. Yeah, I think maybe all these uh, floors would just have food. Maybe. It smells like smoke. 
Okay, so this place is called Sun Plaza. Not this restaurant, but this this whole building. Wow, look at that. I kind of want to eat that right now. That looks really good. Red bean ice cream. I mean, look at the, the display. It looks like it's been here for 20 years. It smells like smoke everywhere. It's probably just stained in the walls. There's always an Indian restaurant. At every place, there's always one Indian restaurant. There's just some sort of connection between Indian curry and Japanese curry. People like curry here. Oh man, that looks really good. I think that's, that's it. I heard some uh, noise over there, like, um, like a game center or something. So um, I'm gonna investigate over there. All right, it's just pachinko. But, oh, it, it connects to the train station, which is pretty cool. And they have a bunch of stores over here as well. It's like its own little mall. It's pretty cool. Uh, they probably just sell like old clothes, not old clothes, but like, you know, clothes for the elderly. Like this stuff, something my mom would wear. Check out this ice cream machine. I've never seen a machine like this. Just a bunch of ice cream sandwiches. Oh, they got a high chew ice cream. I've never seen that before. I almost want to try it. So the train station is connected to this building, which is connected to that mall. So the third floor has more food, I believe. Yeah, we'll go check it out real quick then. Alright, so this is the first floor and there's not much, so... You know what, I'm just gonna go across the street and then work myself up. I think that's the best strategy here. I'm kinda lost. I got this cool looking Starbucks. It's really nice for summer. Got matcha iced tea. Alright, let's get in here. I think this place is called Rezona. A lot of food stuff. Yeah, I feel like most of these like um, malls, this type of mall just has a lot of food stuff. So people can um, come to these places when they get off work. I guess it's empty. Alright, some, uh, some cake. So the first floor just seems like a lot of food. They got like this um, kind of like a Korean style ice cream, red bean, has bubble tea. I don't know what the store is called. Got a restaurant over here. And I think this is like a bookstore, which is pretty cool. This is the restaurant right here. Wow, that looks pretty good. We got some seating here. It's nice and cool in here too. Oh, they got like this crazy sandwich. Looks pretty good. All right, so they have a Starbucks and then they have another like cafe bakery place on the other side, on the opposite corner. Which is, um, it looks pretty good, pretty decent. All right, we're gonna go to the basement floor first. Well, I already went to the first floor, but we're gonna go to the basement floor next. Looks like there's a grocery store like every other mall. And they have some sort of like um, bento style food place. And that looks delicious. Oh, that looks really good too. All this stuff looks really good. Fried chicken. We got the bentos here. You can get steak. $7 for all that. That whole box is seven dollars. Seems like there's some sort of um, sit-down area. I don't know if this is part of a cafe. Uh, this is part of the uh, grocery store. All right. We got some uh, coffee bean, some 
fish, crab. Alright. They look like they got a pretty good selection here. Got some of these fancy cookies. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is more of like an upscale grocery store. Just judging by the snacks and what they carry here. Ferrero Rocher. Oh, these are really good. These are my favorite. And they got these avocado cheese chips. These look really delicious. I've never seen these Doritos before. Yeah, it seems like this looks like a foreigner shop almost. They got some uh, wine here. Yeah, a lot of wine here actually. Yeah, see, they got even foreign beer here. They got a Singtao, Chinese beer, Duvel, Belgian beer. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay, any other beer here? Some wine. Just to um, just to quench my hunger right now. All right. Got a, they got all sorts of like curry here. Got all this sauce. I've never seen so many selections. It looks like a stack of books. Whoa! They got all sorts of curry. Yeah, I feel like this is like more than in your average grocery store. Like they got so many selection of curry. Got some of this fancy ice cream here. You got some gelato. And that's pretty much it. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. Let's check out some of the meat. Yeah, this meat, meat selection is really high quality here. Chicken, 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 pork, beef, beef. Yeah, all this stuff looks like... Yeah, this stuff look like, looks like it should be like a Takashimaya mall. Like the fancy mall. Some more fish. Raw fish, salmon, sashimi. Got some sushi. Got a place where you can eat it and you can um, maybe like order it, which is pretty cool. Vegetables, vegetables. Let's see if they have any fancy fruit here. I really like this little. Um, it's it's small, but it has a lot of the things that that you would want in a small grocery store. But it's probably expensive. Some cherry, strawberries. Some mangoes, some yogurt, We've got some skewers here. Alright, some dried bananas. Here's the fruit 50 bucks. That must be um, a type. Oh, is that 4,100? So 40 bucks. Alright, I might buy these last figs. Oh, but they're four bucks. If it was like three bucks, I'd say yes. All right, never mind. All right, I think I'm gonna go with the papaya, dry papaya, just to give me some energy uh, so I can get back. It's like a 30 minute ride. Oh, they got more stuff here. All right, we're on our way to the second floor. All right, the second floor has some sort of cake shop. And chocolate shop. Got some sandwiches here too. Look at these sandwiches. 
They're all about three dollars. That's strawberry, strawberry banana, some oranges, grapes, melon. Got this cake here. The strawberry cake looks really good. Is that two thousand for one? It might be. I think so. Alright, so the second floor is a bookstore and a flying tiger store. Whoa, this bookstore looks crazy. This is a Tatsuya. I don't think I'm saying that correctly. I had a student named Tatsuya before, but his name was Tatsuya. I think this place is called something else. The CD selection section. That's a manga over there. The best 26, best top 10, top 24, top 30 CDs sold in Japan, maybe. Some uh, DVDs here. There's some old westerns. I think you can get these. I think you can see these DVDs for like a dollar. Like if you go to um, some places in America, like at a CVS or a, a Walmart, they'll sell these like old westerns for like a dollar. Oh, Steven Seagal. This must be the romance section. That's Star Wars. I think these DVDs are probably overpriced here. I mean, like, like nowadays you can just watch all this stuff streaming. It's crazy. I mean, would you, is this what people would do like after work? They come to a DVD shop and look for DVDs? I guess you can't really download these um, Japanese DVDs online, right? I don't think you can find Japanese stuff, movies and DVDs online. Wow, this place doesn't end. There's even an 18 section. That is crazy. Even like in, in this nice ritzy um, place like um, this place. They even have like a 18 naughty section. It's a Dora monster. And it's right next to the kids section. Is that is that is that weird or is it just me? That you could have a kid section like this and then um, a naughty section real close by and this is like not in like a dingy alley it's in a nice ritzy um, bookstore I'm pretty surprised all right we're going to the third floor I hope it's more promising than the second floor or even the first floor actually Alright, so it looks like another Starbucks. So I think the Starbucks on the first floor is more of like um, just like on the go where you can just stop by and then this is like a full out Starbucks which is crazy because it's so big and it's the whole floor. Some magazines. I like the um, I like the architecture of this place. It's um, really nice. I mean the out outside looks like it was built uh, maybe like 10 years ago but I like the inside maybe they renovated the inside it's very futuristic it's very modern and I really like all this like wood and it's pretty clean got some mangas See, there's a Starbucks. It's 
like this whole building is a Starbucks. So this is where we're supposed to come originally, but I went outside. Check this out here. That's pretty much it. I think there's a fourth and fifth floor as well. So we'll check it out real quick because I want to go to the other place as well. They even have like um, wheelchair accessibility, which is nice. Got some uh, reggae music playing on the top. Alright, so they have another escalator that goes up. So we'll check that out. I, I just love this uh, decor here, the architecture. Look at how, how nice it looks. Look like at all those books over there. The high ceilings. Alright, we're on the fourth floor. This looks like some sort of clothing. Uh, so all the stores, mostly the stores are up on the fourth and fifth floors. Looks like women's clothes though. Whoa. This layout. Yeah, this place is really um, peaceful. Everything about it. The smells, you can like smell like um, the wood and like... I don't know, it seems like they just recently um, renovated everything. I mean, look at all this stuff. It looks so cool. It's pretty amazing. I mean, like, is this whole place just a bookstore? It's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna take the stairs. But the view from the top is a lot better. Seems like just more books here. It's an endless amount of books. Japanese people love books. I think that's why they all wear glasses. I'm just kidding. Don't take offense to that. But Chinese people too. too. A lot of Chinese people wear glasses because they read a lot. Remember when you're reading, you gotta look up every every page. Or you're gonna get nearsighted. Or is it farsighted? I forget which one. We go in here. I don't know what that says, but let's go inside. Ah. All right. Looks like uh, children's clothes, but there's no children. Some elevators here. Oh, it's an Eon school. I was actually thinking about applying here. There's nobody in there. 12 to 9? To 7? Interesting. Alright, here's the um, butt detective. It's a detective who's also a butt. I don't know how appropriate that is for kids. A butt detective. Alright, so I'm always trying to make these videos quick so I can go on to the next one. But I've already been here for an hour. At least. I like I like this area. I've never been in this area, but I really like it. Alright, we're gonna go to distance. We're gonna go up to the top. There's more. Oh my gosh. I didn't think there was gonna be more. Alright, I don't know what this is. It looks like a bank or something. It's MFUG bank. No wonder they have so many MFUG um, ATM machines downstairs. Oh, you can't go through here. That's a good view. It just keeps going. How many floors does this place have? I think it has eight floors. Maybe the top floor has a restaurant? I think this place is called Rizona. Rizona Mall. But it's all boarded off. Maybe that's where all the offices are. What's this? It's fancy. Some models here. I don't know what this is. I think it's the people that are, are the um, the people that created this mall. I think it's a pretty, maybe well-known architecture firm or something like that. All right, let's hurry up and get to the top. All right, what is it? 
I knew it. It's a restaurant. Oh, there's restaurants. It's a restaurant with a nice view. Oh, you couldn't even go outside. Got a balcony. I don't know what this is. It seems like um like vegan food. Maybe like healthy um, Japanese food. Here is some sort of um, pizzeria. It has pizza and steak. Also has cake. The decor looks really nice inside too. I wonder if you can go outside. Let's try it out. Oh, they got a real, real oven pizza there. I bet you the pizza tastes really good. Oh, they got a nice little garden outside there too. All right, please open. It opens. Oh, it's a smoking section. Look at this view. Oh, you can even like eat out there too as well. It's really nice. Check this out. I'm gonna try the other side. There's another restaurant on this side as well. I wonder if you can go outside on this end. Maybe not. Ah, oh, this is staff only. But they have a really fancy restaurant on this side. It's not open. Maybe they open up at. Ah, um... oh, this is connected to the restaurant. That's nice if you come out here and eat your um, dinner, if you live around there. I like this mall actually. I really like it. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so I just came out of this mall. It's pretty co cool. I think it's called Resina. Alright, so um, I forgot to um, show you guys this papaya snack. I'm gonna eat it and show you guys if it tastes good or not. It's uh, dry fruits. I'm gonna try to eat this really quickly and so we can go on to the next video. Um, I'm about to go to... Um, the second hand shop so I hope I, I can make it before um, the sun goes down all right here we go mm, that's pretty good it's pretty sweet I don't know if I can eat all of this it's uh it's pretty funky it's papaya but I hope you enjoyed watching this video oh it doesn't taste that good um I should have bought something else I hope you um, look out for future videos. I'm gonna go to the secondhand shop right now. Um, it's about 10 minutes from here. I'm gonna try to rush over there because um, there's two secondhand shops near each other. So I wanna hit that up soon as possible. Oh, um, it tastes like fish. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and look out for future videos and thank you for watching, goodbye.